Hey everybody, this is Mars. I want to do a video on the new rock, paper, scissor system that Rise of Kings is going to re be releasing pretty soon and go over what I think the important parts of how the system will work and what areas will be affected and kind of go through some clarifications of my assumptions of how the current um, battle system and how it works and how the rock, paper, scissors system may be implemented using the current system we have now. So these things are based upon what I believe how the battle system works and I don't have any factual things outside of personal experience and the little bit of information that I got through the developers and through testing. So they do a pretty good job of keeping the mechanics of it uh, a secret. There's some things that we do know and there's a lot of things we don't know. I know that there's probability margins in there and you're never going to get an exact replication of a battle. I mean, you will occasionally get the, the same battle result, but if you do it 10 times in a row, you're not going to get the same result each 10 battles with the same exact uh, attributes and everything else. So, uh, we're just going to go over it. I'm going to go over through all the areas that I think that will have a, a strong effect on how the system will work, and we'll go from there. Oh, by the way, the they released a new equipment area, and it's called the Crown of Might, and you can get that through uh, working on your Throne Wars, your Overlord, or... Yeah, Overlord event and KVK War event. And you can uh, get, I think they're called crowns or something like that to get to uh, upgrade that. First, let's talk about what Rock, Paper, Scissors is. Rock, Paper, Scissors system is going to be where infantry, archers, and cavalry all counter each other. Siege will be separate from those three. So what's going to end up happening is infantry will take on cavalry. Okay? Then cavalry will take on archers. And archers will take on infantry. And what they say is is we're going to be able to counter each other much more effectively than we were previously. And I know that was a big issue for some of the other troop types because it just didn't really work unless you had the right hero. So what's, what's going to happen is those three are going to be able to counter each other and then the siege is just going to be on its own and do its it's normal uh, special which is you know get a lot more damage done when you attack castles uh, and you're gonna have extra range or extra HP depending on which siege tr uh, troop type you choose to use so that is rock paper scissors archers cavalry and infantry So first we want to inspect how troop layering works. And the reason why I think that this will be very important for this new rock, paper, scissor uh, update will be because damage from what I know goes from front to back. So the front for, of the front of the formation will get all of the damage first and that will roll backwards to the back of the formation seems pretty sensible right that that's a good assumption the only caveat to that is if the cavalry charge and hit the formation from behind uh, all of the tests that i've done and uh, just personal experience and the little bit that i've been able to get out of the developers have led me to this conclusion so from the testing this is the layering that i have found it first goes shield infantry that is your t10 t7 uh knights kind uh, the kind of 
that kind of infantry. Then it goes to rams. Then from there it goes to spear infantry. Then to close range cavalry. Then it goes to cavalry archers. Then to archers and then bowmen. And then finally catapults. So the range uh, that is determined also by range. I know that there's many of those that I sp uh, just talked about that have range one, but for some reason that's how they line up. Uh, I don't know exactly how large the ranks are. I do believe that there is a certain size, but I have not been able to figure out how large front ranks are. So if you send uh, a full dispatch of any type, uh, there are going to be layers of that same troop type in the formation. I just don't know the actual size of how much those lines are. Uh, this is really important because if you're sending multiple troop types to counter the different troops that you're going to be going up against, uh, you want to know which troops are going to get the damage first. And that way you can kind of determine you know, if I send this infantry, are they even going to be able to counter the cavalry that I'm trying to counter, or will they die off to the archers before I even get that chance? And that will be determined on how many troops you send, how many archers they have. Uh, same thing with if you have a bunch of cavalry and they have a bunch of archers and they have some uh, infantry to counter your cavalry, how much cavalry do you need to counter their their uh their infantry to get around it or you know if you send your the same amount of infantry to counter their infantry how does that affect the time of the battle because a battle is determined by two factors this is what the developers have told me it's a time limit or by percentage of dead uh winning the battle they won't tell me what the time is and they won't tell me how much percentage of the dead needs to happen. So all of those things um, are part of how this works. So if you look at it that way, that's really telling. Now, to flip, so that's how damage is received, is from front to back. Damage is given based upon the speed of the person's attack, but also by the range. So if you have catapults, they're technically going to get the first shot off, so they'll be doing the first damage. So it would be catapults, bowmen, archers, close range cavalry, and then all the rest of the infantry in the layering that I just said. So you actually reverse that because of the range. Now, say that they didn't have a bunch of infantry in the front, and then it might actually come to the point where the bowmen and the catapults are about at the same range when they attack. I don't know if that's how that works, but if that was the case, then the bowmen would fire first because the bowmen have a faster attack speed. So really complicated, and when you get into rock, paper, scissors and this kind of formulation, and you think of multiple hands playing rock, paper, scissors, like you get a play with four hands, you're some, you know, Indian god or something like that, and you have four hands, five, six hands, because you have all these different troop types, and some hands are bigger than the others, or higher quality, or faster, or have a longer range, it just gets mind-boggling crazy. So I don't know exactly how they're going to implement all of that, but layering is going to be very important. And I will go back to this layering issue when I give you my opinion of what the new meta will be. So let's talk about infantry and how this may affect infantry in the upcoming update. So infantry is going to be countered by archers and then they'll be able to take on cavalry. Now, the uh, spearmen infantry already do a great job against cavalry. So if they do even better against cavalry than they are currently, uh, that will be 
really dangerous to anybody trying to run any kind of cavalry setup. Uh, but infantry is going to take a huge hit. And the reason why is because you have archers that are at a range that will target infantry first. So since if you go back to where we talk about layering and how troops take damage, infantry is going to be the troop type that gets damage first, which means the archers have actual even bigger advantage on the infantry than if you were to make them counter their counterpart evenly. So with that extra range, now you actually have a chance to fire against them more, especially if you have a front line that's kind of hindering them to get getting to the archers. So that is a little bit of a disturbing factor, is that that might be how, um, how it goes, that infantry just takes a huge step back. But um, when they released this info, they did a little graph and they show T10 infantry with all the different types. So I'm wondering if they're going to maybe give the King's Guard a, a buff to kind of help with uh, the powering up of the other troop types, considering uh, the King's Guard has always been kind of a underpowered troop uh, against any kind of T11 um, troop at all. So we'll just have to wait and see, but that is. Uh, how it might affect the infantry unit going forward. So let's talk about cavalry. So cavalry has always been a underrated troop. Uh, they're really good about uh, taking on rallies. They get a lot of kills that way. When they're able to run free and not have to worry about front lines, they are a wild card. They can just do mass amounts of damage and it can be extremely beneficial to use them. Now in this, I'm a little bit worried about them. I think that what might end up happening is players will utilize the really amazing T11 infantry in small amounts and that will keep them off of ranged units and that will kind of keep anyone from being able to use the the cavalry unless they charge which is when they hit a formation from behind it's a ability that can uh, go off and it doesn't have an extremely high probability of that happening even if you use the skill uh, it still could be very useful I thought about maybe uh, using a cavalry combo with archers and then letting the archers take down the infantry before the cavalry go but i don't know how effective that would be that comes back down to layering how is uh how's the timing gonna go uh and will the archers be able to hit the infantry before the cavalry tries to charge through them uh so on and so forth but they could take a huge step back if the infantry is very effective and that's uh, and they still have a place in the meta. Uh, but in the same time, they may have the ability to charge more if they're actually trying to give this a true counter to archers. So when we talk about archers with the rock, paper, scissors system, uh, I truly think that they're going to get a huge buff and they're going to be a lot more effective uh, with their ability to take on infantry, regardless if they're a ranger or if they're a bowman. Uh, this will encourage players to play with them more and utilize the layering so that they can get mass amount of damage before troops get to them. I will be curious to see if you add on lots of lots of little small layers in front of the archers, if they'll be able to um, maximize their damage by putting small amounts of troops 
just layered in front and who knows that might be a uh, really good strategy going forward this is all speculation and uh, we're all doing this off of assumptions of how the battle system will be integrated with this instead of the idea that the battle system will change completely i just don't think they're willing to rewrite everything that much i think they'll more adapt and integrate something new into it so archers i think may become a very popular troop type very very soon war machines i know that they're not a part of the rock paper scissor uh system exactly but they might have a place uh it really all comes down to if they get anything or uh if people start utilizing their troops differently there's some pretty decent heroes out there and uh excuse me oh yawn um there's some pretty good uh heroes out there for siege um but they are pretty bad against archers uh, the T-11 is at least, um, but the T-10 maybe may counter the archer group um, just because of the extra range, but that's really hard to tell. They're not that great at defending castles, they're better at attacking castles, and I don't really see anyone attacking uh, into a t11 castle using t10 catapults <laughs> I, it's something that could happen but is unlikely so when it comes to siege it's a little bit of a toss-up uh, i would like to see siege be a uh, a factor in this game but at this point uh it's been a little bit of a side strategy that only a few people use uh, it can be very effective especially against infantry and using chojin but uh, i just really don't know where they'll fit in if they will at all when it comes to rock paper scissors heroes are going to be very very important there's a few things that we need to really pay attention to when it comes to heroes with this new system uh, keywords one is your if it has your in the hero's description of its ability then it's probably not going to be one that you're going to use when you're rallying with other troops uh, with other players and or trying to, to defend a throne and not just using your own only your troops uh, I, examples of that is mina uh, Ogd, uh, I think there's more, but uh, that's a keyword that you have to be really careful of. Also, there's uh, ones that say melee troops. So, like this one, if they're dealt damage, um, they're killed, they'll deal damage 20% of their maximum HP uh, to the last melee troop that attacked them. So that's not going to be very effective if the archers are the ones that are uh, killing off the troop or if the melee troop didn't even kill, uh, touch them, then they're not going to be able to reflect that damage onto them. Uh, something kind of like Jansen, you know. Uh, it's only reflecting the damage that's done to your infantry so if you're using uh arita or retta or however you say her name uh this one actually says counter attack skills do not reflect damage uh they don't reflect this extra poison damage that she does so like those two kind of counteract each other if someone's attacking you with a uh, with Arita or you see Arita on the castle wall, you don't want to use Jansen against them because you're not actually getting that reflection damage in at all. Uh, those are just really things that you want to consider. 
troops that might be at a premium are ones that are simple like Dolan and uh, Ren because they just give all different troop types that buff where these other troop uh, heroes are being more specific. So we're going to just kind of see different heroes being utilized. Um, possibly that might be the case. Maybe some mixed heroes of different, you know, if maybe an archery hero with a infantry hero. It really is all going to be on how people want to run their dispatches. And, you know, when it comes to rallying, you want to use more... Um, heroes that are going to benefit everybody and not just your troops. Well, that's what I got for heroes and what you're going to be able to use and utilize the best in rock, paper, scissors. So, here's my opinion. I really think that uh, this Imperial Markswoman troop type is going to be king. Uh, they are going to run the field. I think that probably more than half of dispatches will be full with these troops. I think they have the right heroes to complement their play style. You can layer troops in front to protect them. And I really believe that they're going to be the main troop going forth in this, uh, new rise of kings format of battle now do i think that with meta changing that eventually there'll be players that kind of outsmart the system i do think that but i think that a t11 infantry front line with a decent amount of crossbowmen uh behind them is a pretty solid way to play with the new format. You have the infantry to counter the cavalry, and then you have your archers to go up against uh, the rest of their troops. Uh, it seems pretty solid to me. I know that uh, you could maybe run a cavalry uh archer kind of combo but you'd still want to put at least a small amount of that spearman in front to counter uh, a large amount of cavalry this is all speculation i just think in my mind this is probably the most likely outcome will be that's what players will go to they may add more layers into it I don't know if they'll change the battle system so that the layers kind of don't mess up with the timing of the battle because I've noticed the more different troop types I add to the battle, the less effective my ranged units are and the more damaged my melee troops get uh, become. So that's really what I got for my opinion and kind of what I could think on the fly i mean i've tried to make these videos several times i kind of get into rabbit trails and say squirrel and get you know caught off guard and not be able to articulate what i wanted to say in the videos but if you like the video or if you think that a certain troop combo will work with the new uh, rock paper scissor system uh, let me know I'd love to be convinced that it will be something different. I'm not so sure this is a step up, but it'll be at least fun to try and test and um, try and figure out. Well guys, have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.